Hello everybody, this is Paul with Torah Life Ministries. I'm out here at the Feast of Tabernacles 2021. And uh, it's dinner time right now and uh, everyone's, well, it's not dinner time for them because everyone's eating much later here. I've come out here and I've been to other tabernacles for a good amount of years and I've spoke about health and nutrition and the things that are gonna uplift our bodies. I've explained to people that coffee is not good for them. I've explained to people that just because something is biblically kosher, it might not be healthy for their bodies. I've explained to the people that if they don't lose weight and stop eating late at night, they're going to suffer uh, more and more as they get older and older. Their bodies are going to wear down and wear out. And I would pray and hope that more people would get it. But even the people I see that already, that, that see, that they say they already got it, they figured it out, they understand. You know, I see what they're eating and I see how they're joking around when they're eating and I see they're not taking it serious. And this is, this is a serious issue, folks. This is a very serious issue. Uh, this year, I probably got better control of my food and, and just a bit clearer understanding about nutrition more than ever before. But it seems like the more people I speak about it, to about it, uh, the less ears are listening. And I know there's some, some of you out there that get it. But, you know, the fact is we're not getting younger. We're not getting younger. And you might agree or disagree with what I say is uh, the ideal amount of food or the, the, the best food for our bodies or not. But the reality is if you're sick, if you're suffering from a disease, if you know you could do better and you're not doing better, what's holding you back? And I'm now believing it's not knowledge that's holding people back. It's the enemy, it's the devil that's holding people back from eating healthy because he doesn't want people to thrive. And people are suffering and it's not difficult to figure this out. It's not difficult to know that an apple is better than an apple pie or a carrot is better than a carrot cake. But people, they don't seem to care. And I think the enemy is having his way with people making them think certain things are, are okay when they're really not. So I wanna make this video as a reminder to you that your health is really serious and your diet should just be as serious. And you can make wonderful, delicious things I have on my website and so on, but the scriptures declare the food for man is fruits and vegetables. The green herbs, the nuts and the seeds, this is what the scriptures uh, confirm. And people say, well, the Bible allows me to eat meat. The Bible allows us to do a lot of things, but we got to understand uh, our creator has an ideal and our creator has things that he lets us get by. And we want to do the best. We want to give him our best. And eating the right food at the right time in the right way is giving him our best. A lot of people here are talking about idol worship and the world and what the world does with idol worship. And I'm seeing idol worship on people's plates here. I'm seeing more people excited about, about food than they are worship. I'm seeing more people getting up to go and eat a meal instead of going up and hearing a speaker. I'm seeing more people here staying in bed because they can't make it to prayer time, but they'll get up early for some breakfast. The idolization of food must stop. The Bible says do not make an idol out of anything. The biggest idol here is 100% without a doubt coffee. That's the devil's drink. You need to give that up, folks. I don't care what you've seen, what you've heard, it's not good for you. And a lot of the people here, uh, wonderful people, but they're deceived. I did a talk here a couple of years ago and I told people how bad coffee was. And people aren't getting it. People aren't getting it. And it's disheartening in a way because people like to make jokes about it. And they like to make jokes saying, oh, you know, it's okay and all this stuff. Or then people like to say, well, I'm only doing it in moderation. Then other people like to say, well, I gave it up, but then I went back. Not only is it an addicti addictive drug, drug, it's the greatest idol in many people's lives. On top of that, their stomach and the food they put in their bodies. I'm not here to to bring people down. I'm here to tell people the truth, so hopefully they'll get it. 
We all need to learn. We all need to grow. But when it says in a word, my people destroyed for lack of knowledge, we have worldly knowledge. We know what food is good for us and what food is not good for us. The problem is, when it says my people destroyed for lack of knowledge, what they're talking about is my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge of, of Yahweh's word, of his Torah, of who he is. And just like we have to keep that temple clean, we have to keep our bodies clean because the bodies are our temple. The body is our tabernacle. And whether it's coffee or whatever else that's on that plate that you're making an idol of, I want to remind you of the words of Job when he says in the scriptures, I have esteemed his words more than my necessary food. Necessary, that word means everything. His, his words are more important than my life. And... Uh, too many people out there continue to make idols of food and I've been doing this for a long time now and I, I've been coming to these tabernacles for a long time now and I see people that I met many years ago when I first started coming and I still feel young and feel great but these people are, are sick and put on weight and they're blaming it on old age I'm blaming it on a bad diet and we know what's right from wrong but people aren't doing it I'm blaming that on deception of the enemy and I don't mean to give them all the power and stuff, but people are deceived. We need to change the food we're eating to eat more natural, wholesome food more often, not just sometimes, not just half of the times. So I pray that, that you all get it. I'm here, I am in, South, in the South saying, you all get it. I pray you guys figure it out and understand what we should be eating and not be eating. And I do it because my heart goes out for all of you. I don't want to see you getting sick. I don't want to be sick. And at the times now more than ever before, with all this stuff going on, we need to build up our immune system and be as healthy as possible. But I see people dropping the ball. I see people making the excuses. And I see it's the worst of times when it comes to what people should be doing and what they're not. And if you don't think you're making an idol out of these things, try giving up coffee for a week. Stop your excuses. Stop your, your cutting back to a certain amount. No, give it up out of your life. If you can't give it up, it's an idol. You should have control over things. Things should not have control of you. Give it up. Try your late night, giving up your late night snacks or whatever you want to call them. Remember, we, we, need, we need to change. Remember, the des desserts spelled backwards is stressed. We need to figure this out folks so I'm making this video to remind you all that now more important than ever before to to get real about these things and get serious about these things I'm here to help you my contact information is all over here uh, go below the video if you want to contact me I'm praying for you and uh, and your idols that you'll get them out of your life and make this the year all right everybody y'all be with you Shalom Shalom